Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, then hi, my name is Jane Sarche. I'm a food writer and food blogger and food photographer, etc. And this is Myrtle, she's my fabulous little camper van. And it's together in this tiny space that we bring you awesome one pot camping recipes. Now, if you are new around here, you might wanna subscribe because we bring out those recipes every single week. Come rain or shine, summer or winter, me and the Myrtle are out and about getting you good recipes. That leads me on nicely. Regular viewers, what are you thinking of the whole campfire cooking? Are you liking that? Do we want more of them? I kind of see my channel as being all about eating well in the great outdoors, whether that's in a camper van, a tent, a hammock, whatever. If you're all about the barbecue and campfire, then please let me know that you like it by giving me a thumbs up. But if you'd prefer it just to be in the camper van, then please let me know in the comments. I really appreciate your feedback. Now in full disclosure, today's video is sponsored and it's sponsored by the fine folk at the saucy fish company now i need to be a little bit upfront with you i'm not really into promoting stuff that i'm not into so i'm just putting that out there i really am all about good food this stuff it's the second time i've worked with these guys and i've actually found myself buying this with my weekly shop i buy two or three packs a week and i keep it in my fridge and this has become like a really good healthy high protein snack that I cannot get enough of. Now, if you don't know the Saucy Fish Company, then they do a lot of uncooked fish that you've got all the recipe, you've got the sauce obviously, and you cook it all together and you've got your dinner. However, this range is cooked and it's ready to eat. And I'm telling you, when I look in the fridge and I've just got a growling belly, and it's like not lunchtime, this is so good. So this, this is what it looks like inside. We've got two fillets of salmon and you also get, one moment please, and you also get a sachet of dressing. Now this one is lime and coriander and it's the nuts. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna rustle up a nice little low carb special. I will just let you other low carbers know that, oh God, I've got to do some maths now. It's about, it's half a pack of salmon and sauce it's about four and a half grams of carbs i'm gonna go with 225 grams 100 grams yeah i think it's under four and a half grams but you know don't hold me to that because math is, is not my strong point anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna griddle up some yummy veggies and we're gonna have i'm actually gonna keep my salmon cold because it's already cooked and I don't need to do anything. My regular viewers will know that Johnny, my partner, detests seafood. Sorry, Saucy Fish Company. It's all about authenticity here, but he wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. So the beauty is I get to have half for my dinner tonight and I get to have the other half for my lunch tomorrow. Yes! So I'm hungry, let's cook. And this is where I go to turn the gas bottle on and I hope to God I've got enough gas. Okay, so I reckon the tender stem's gonna take the longest. So let's get that on. I've also got these quarter wedges of little gem lettuce and some ribbons of courgette. To make these, you just top and tail your courgette and then just run a potato peeler along it and you'll get these lovely little ribbons. These take no time to cook. So I've got quite a few of them. I'll need to do them in batches. And I'm just gonna pop some tomatoes on as well, just because I can. As pieces cook, just pop them into a bowl. Now you don't need to put any oil on your veggies before you cook them. They're going to cook perfectly well with no oil. When you've got your veggies off the griddle, then just pour over one or two teaspoons of sesame oil and a teaspoon or so of sesame seeds. That smells so good. Just give it all a little toss around. Don't worry about the tomato stalk being in there. You're among friends here. Sassy's just turned up to find out what all the good smells are about. Then when your veggies are cooked, you simply pour over that delicious dressing. And there it is. Doesn't that look a treat? Oh, I'm so glad Johnny won't eat this. So there we are for another week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please see the description box below for the full recipe. You can copy and paste it into your phone or whatever. If you haven't tried Saucy Fish before and you give it a go and you love it, then please come and let us know in the comments. I'd love to think that somebody found a new favorite product through one of my videos. That would make me so happy. As always, I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you next Wednesday for the next in our feasty adventure. As always, lovelies, happy camping. Mwah.